All right, first we have a quick little review of Exponents. Okay, moving on to the next page. We're going to look first at a few vocabulary terms that you'll have when you're dealing with exponents. Uh, first of all, numbers are expressed using exponents. They are called powers. All right, a power, if we look to the top, has two parts. There is the uh, base part, of course, which is the big number. And I remember that because it's the bigger number and it's the base. They both start with a B. And then the exponent is the smaller number up in the uh, right-hand corner of the base number. So you can see they're color coordinated. Co color coordinated. The exponent is the small number in the corner, and the base is the bigger number. Okay, you can say these a few different ways. First of all, this one can be said the fourth power of three. The fourth power of three. It, we could also say three exponent four, or we could say three to the fourth power. They all mean the same thing. And if I were to write this out in factor form, I would write three times three times three times three. The base number is written four times. So the exponent tells us how many times and the base number tells us which number. Moving on to the next page. Let's review an example here. How would we write this factor form as an exponent? First, we would write the base number, which is the number that we are using, okay? The base number in this one would be 4. So we can go ahead and label that base number. Then we're going to write how many times we see this number. So it's 1, 2, 3. It's 4 times 4 times 4. That's three different times, so the exponent is going to be a 3. So let's label that part, exponent. Okay, when we see it written like this, this is called exponent form. And we'll go ahead and write that as well. Exponent form. Now to solve this problem, this is where it gets tricky. For some reason, a lot of people think the answer is 12. It is not 12. We have to look at one part of the problem first. And we know that 4 times 4 is actually equal to 16. So I'm going to write that part as 16. But I still have a certain amount of the problem that is not completed. I need to still multiply 16 times 4 more. Now, 16 times 4, when we solve this problem, will actually give us... 64. I have 24, regroup my 2, or carry my 2, and then 4 times 1 is 4 plus 2 is 6, so 64. And we can click here and check our answer. Ooh. Behind the circle we see number 64 is correct. Uh, when writing this, we're going to take a look at the different forms. Again, 4 times 4 times 4. This is called factor form. And when you actually solve it and come up with the final answer, we will call this standard form of a number. Let's try a few examples now. Moving on. All right, right here we have one of our Smart Exchange tools, and we can pick the base number by simply clicking the up or down arrow, and we can also pick the exponent number. So I'm going to go ahead and come up with a few quick problems. Let's try this one first. 2 to the third power. First, write it in exponent form. 2 to the third power, that is correct. Now I want you to write it in factor form. 2 times 2 times 2. 
notice the base number is written three times so the exponent tells us that we should write it three times I know that 2 times 2 is 4 and when I multiply 4 by 2 more I get the answer 8 so when I check my answer here let's see if you are correct moving the block down and the answer part is not moving okay just a minor problem and now it's fixed you can see the answer is indeed 8 so let's try another one we'll go up to 3 to the third power alright 3 to the third power again my base number is 3 and my exponent is also 3 writing it in exponent form now we're gonna look at factor form 3 times 3 times 3 if I multiply 3 times 3 I get 9 but I still have another times 3 so 9 times 3 then would give us an answer of 27 let's check and see if we are correct and indeed the answer is 27 all right and that concludes the practice and vocabulary for exponents